Greetings everyone, Pastor Songbei here from Lighthouse Global. I do apologize for being late. Um, oh, and I'm hoping that everything is working. I just caught, came on, um, just different circumstances today. Now you can probably see me, let's pray. If you can see me, please say hello. I wanna make sure that, that this is, um, you guys are all seeing the screen. We're having a bit of trouble here. Technical difficulties and locational tr trouble. I'm traveling and um, I'm in ministry. This computer has to come on because it's got all my notes in it and it's not coming on. But let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that all these hindrances today would just be bowed in Jesus' name. And I pray that God, you will just bless this broadcast as we are here live. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Things are just not turning on today but i am preaching to you from a car i do apologize i'm just traveling and the best thing that i could do is uh minister to you here in this space um but you know wherever we're at as long as you know you can hear me if you can uh if the signal's good please do let me know um today's word is very powerful i believe it's a prophetic word for month of may and the word is the month of may will be a may uh, a, a the title of it is that the truth will set you free truth will set you free so god bless you father i pray for a mighty anointing i'm going to wait a little bit for you to come on and after this i may um do individual ministry um after i close this uh, section of the word because i've been getting requests from people to minister uh, to them one-on-one -on -one. so i think if you comment on lighthouse movement that's what i can see if you comment on other pages i might not be able to see you but um Jesus, I just pray today that there'll be an anointing, special kind of anointing to set us free today in this word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's great to see you. I'm going to wait till some of you find me. Um, this weekend, so today, tonight, and tomorrow, I, I'll be in uh, Word International Church in LA to do deborah's fire prayer retreat so if you are in the la region um i highly encourage you to come and join us it's a women's retreat to raise up prayer warriors um today not tonight and then tomorrow all day i believe till 5 p.m so if you are interested in being uh, you know getting some training with prayer please do consider coming with la i believe i already posted that so take a look at it and next week from thursday to saturday for three days i'm doing school of intercession school of prayer 101 so i'm gonna do some um two hours of teaching and activation every night thursday to to uh saturday night next week uh, i'm gonna do in may you're gonna see a lot of announcements in may with equipping training so please pay attention but with school of prayer i'm very passionate about raising up um, true prophetic intercessors so Keep that in mind um, if you can join um, that school um, there'll be announcements today about how to um, join the school of prayer um, and uh, for those lighthouse intercessors who've been praying faithfully you also have to join so um, Thursday to Saturday night um, I believe it's gonna be 9 p.m. EST but let's get into the word of the Lord father I thank you for this word uh, May will be a month of uh, truth setting you free truth will set you free so actually this morning number one so i'm going to talk about some topics that might be kind of unfamiliar to you but most of them have experience of this number one gaslighting spirits will be judged so gaslighting spirits will be judged and this morning i got up and i realized that um the demonic twisting so how many of you have been in battle with the with the dragon spirit or twisting spirit leviathan spirit well really in another form of manifestation of this leviathan is a gaslighting spirit and i really felt like this gaslighting spirit um, now, uh, what what gaslighting is, where this term came from, and for those of you who are not familiar with this, is that this term came from a movie in the past, I think in the 70s, of how a husband was trying to um, uh, basically bring insanity to his wife by, um, you know, turning the, dimming the lights um, and distorting her reality. So when she says to the lights, dim and the husband will um try to flip it on her and so that's not true and he would kind of distort her reality so she would end up thinking that um she was the one that was going crazy but you know these concepts you know with you know narcissism and gaslighting spirit these things 
recently have been really there's been a lot of plenty of um, education on it uh, by different people and different counselors different prophets even and so I want to bring bring this to light because this morning I got up and I just specifically real had a, like a glimpse of somebody who had just completely turned everything and actually this was a prophetic word I was gonna write today for a prophetic now word but I'm just gonna incorporate it into the May word because what it was was so there was something that this other person was doing but because I exposed it or I brought it forth they completely flipped the table and said I was the one that was doing that which is completely not true and then in my in my relational context I realized that you know I grew up as a uh, you know good person but I realized that there are people that are around me who um, would help who, who would plant doubts in my mind about what I what I'm experiencing for example um, somebody did me wrong somebody offended me or hurt my feelings when I say hey uh, please don't hurt my feelings they'll flip it and say I'm not, what the, I'm not the one that hurt your feelings, you're just too sensitive, or they'll just flip and say, it's your fault. How many of you experience things like that? Well, that's gaslighting. So what it is, is you can never um, resolve a conflict or have a adult to adult conversation because they will flip it on you and say that you're the problem. And, and I, you know, this is such a huge topic and it might, you know, it's probably a topic that I need to talk about in series because it's such a huge topic and I realized that there are cultures that are cultures that validate gaslighting there are cultures that validate gaslighting for example gaslighting is a norm in a culture I believe in Korean culture there's cultural strongholds where gaslighting is the norm of the culture a lot of times even if you're not the one that is at fault you take on the blame because you're the younger one or you're the woman or you're the wife this is part of a culture and it is such a um, such a huge uh, stronghold that people can't even discern they think that that's the norm but I'm here to tell you that I'm breaking this and exposing this I believe I saw like in the spirit realm these spirits that were flipping things so you know I said in 2023 is a, is a year when God is going to do Psalm 23 5 which is he's going to uh, set a table before you in the presence of your enemies meaning there's an overturning of table that's happening you know what is it the overturning of Esther the the decree of Haman was to manipulate the king to release a decree to wipe out a whole race God's people right and what is the Esther anointing the Esther anointing is a flipping of table anointing it is a it is a overturning anointing it is an overturning anointing it is a truth anointing it is a destiny anointing Esther anointing is to flip the plans of the devil and some of you have been living under this gaslighting spirit and everything around you will flip they'll flip things on you so that you're the one that is at fault you're the one that is at um, that is not right you're the one that is whatever you know but but the Lord is saying to you that this these gaslighting spirits will be judged so I've just been almost like a holy anger coming out of my spirit because this is so many people are under this kind of thing so in the Bible what it is is Revelation 12 9 to 11 this has directly uh, it's, it's directly related to Leviathan spirit and the red dragon spirit that we're dealing with um, politically and it's a massive thing it's a massive thing like um, regionally territorially so um, it's connected to the great great dragon and of, the, of course the serpent and the and the um, the serpent and the dragon the devil what was the first incident incident of gaslighting it was Adam and the sins that Adam had it, it's the original sin meaning you know Satan comes in and says to Eve did God really say for you to not eat this tree of good and evil and uh, she ate it um, and then Adam took it and when Adam was confronted see that's the gaslighting is such a connect heavily connected with original sin where when Adam was confronted by God and said where are you how who told you how did you know that this was sinful and what did Adam say the woman that you made for me what was that slight gaslighting he was putting blame on God and saying God all of this happened because you made this woman for me 
Wow, what kind of a, 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 a this nature of sin and original sin and sinful nature of human beings is that when sin enters into our spirits, we flip it and we take partial responsibility and we put it on other people, even on God. See, God, you did this. God, I didn't do it. No, I didn't eat it. No, yes, you did eat it. I didn't eat of it, but you made me do this. That's just how it is. Um, that's the nature of sin. So I'm dealing with some really heavy things because a lot of you are, this is so prevalent and rampant. I don't even know where to start this. How many of you have been under injustice because somebody flipped the table on you? You know exactly that you didn't do it. The other person did, but they will flip it on you and said you did it. And um, just, but, but Revelation 12, 9 to 11 the great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who, le who, le who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Amen and amen. So, this gaslighting spirit, I believe that um, this is a really key word. So, I want you to share this on your wall right now. Share this on your wall so other people can uh, listen to this word uh, for the month of May because I believe victory is coming. Oh, but this verse is amazing because it's talking about how do we fight this accuser of the brethren. So another another um, explanation of what this gaslighting spirit is, is uh, accuser of the brethren. It will accuse you. It will accuse you, falsely accuse you, falsely find fault with you. So And then it's connected to a religious spirit because religious spirit finds fault with you. It finds every little fault with you. And um, how do you, how do you triumph over this thing? You triumph over it by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. So how do you fight this accuser? Number one, you fight by the blood of the Lamb. So I'm giving you a strategy. I want to encourage you. How do you, Pastor Song, how do we get rid of this gaslighting spirit? You know, um, it could happen to you individually, but, you know, there's a principality of this. So sometimes when we battle principalities, we don't want to attack it just on our own so we go to the courtroom of heaven we ask god to release judgments upon these small gods and idols that are despicable to the lord so say god war uh, send warring angels to judge these spirits that are that are despicable to you that are rebellious to you god bring down this rebellion we ask we petition so we go to the realm of petitioning god in the courts room of have courtroom of heaven so god himself can release a verdict of judgment against these spirits in jesus name so how do you fight it the bible says you fight this great dragon that has been hurled down the ancient serpent called the devil uh the, with the blood of the lamb so blood is powerful father i pray that we will realize the power of the blood of jesus power of the blood that saved us power of the blood who i feel the anointing of god right now trauma is lifting off some of you have had trauma related to continual gaslighting and it brought insanity it brought stress it brought so much pain in your life i lift off that trauma off of you right now god is saying i'm anointing you i am pleading i am covering you top to bottom with the blood of jesus it's the blood of the lamb because the blood is powerful father i thank you that the blood of the lamb is powerful i pray that you cover from top of people's heads to the bottom of their toes that the blood of jesus is our mighty weapon so number verse 11 says they triumphed over the devil he's giving you a strategy how do you triumph over this hurling uh snake this serpent the devil great dragon some of you are fighting this leviathan right now you fight it with number one blood of the lamb so we worship we thank you god by for your salvation go back to where he shed his blood for you where he gave his life for you blood of the land number time number two it says and by the word of their testimony do not forsake your testimony see the enemy is against your story the enemy is against god's story in you share your testimony that is why it is never a bad thing for you to share your testimony over and over again it's your testimony the word of your mouth the word of your reality of your testimony 
your testimony that will battle the devil in Jesus name we all have a testimony of how Jesus saved us we all have a testimony of how Jesus delivered us we all have a testimony of what God did for us in our lives and I want to bless you to share that testimony so father I pray that we will not stop talking about the goodness of God about the miracles of God about the healings of God about the salvation of God about the 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 breakthroughs that God has given us in Jesus name do not forsake your testimony do not shut shut your mouth when it comes to sharing your testimony it is the word of your testimony and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord confess with your mouth the enemy is trying to bring dragon Leviathan to shut your mouth but speak forth the word of the Lord the truth will set you free this is what I mean by in the month of May truth will set you free every devil attack from north and south of us is trying to block your mouth from speaking the truth of who Jesus was and is in your life God is saying speak your testimony Jesus did this for me Jesus showed up in my living room Jesus I saw his face I know who he is share that testimony because nothing can te uh, steal your testimony by the word of their testimony they triumphs over this Leviathan this uh, hurling dragon they and then number three what how to fight the accuser number three they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death thank you jesus the key of overcoming this dragon is to not seek your own life on earth so father we just give everything we consider everything uh uh, 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 uh we consider everything to be like a excrement just nothing before you just like what paul said he considers the world as nothing before compared to the glory that we have in jesus christ father we we do not hold on to the things the vanity the things of this earth father we throw it out because pursuing you jesus seeking your face is much greater seeking your face is much more precious seeking your face is everything jesus you are more precious than earth you are more precious than love you're more precious than life you're more precious than career you're more precious than my own being father you're more precious so the lord is saying that the weapon is do not love they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death you are not to be afraid of death on earth because everything on earth is only a shadow our only glory our only reality should be in heaven things that you see on on earth even the millionaires if you want to be a billionaire that is only a shadow compared to what is to come uh, in heaven you are to seek the will of god you are to live out your life as in 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 this earth as a person of destiny and not be bound by the things of this world if you consider anything on this world more worthy of jesus then you will be hit by this gaslighting spirit you'll be hit by this dragon you'll be a target of this dragon you're actually cooperating with the dragon i divorce the devil in jesus name right now you need to decree in the month of may because truth wants to set you free truth is god god wants to set you free but the devil wants to cooperate with you the devil wants to get in with you the devil wants to play with you the devil wants to partner with you and i break every demonic partnership right now and just i decree and declare a divorce decree a separation decree from your life to the devil's life do not compromise your life even the little things that you didn't even know about god is saying throw out that idol throw out that idol throw out that thing that takes you away from me says the lord so father i pray right now that people will be bold enough to separate themselves from the things of the enemy right now in jesus name. some of you are not delivered from demons because you love you enjoy demons it's because deep down you kind of want to play with demons. You want to you want to keep that demon around you. So in the month of May, I feel like the word that God is giving me is that truth will set you free only if you let it. <laughs> God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free only if you allow it. But some of you are not free. Not because God doesn't want to set you free. Not because you don't even know how to set yourself free. Because you have a lot of knowledge and spirit. It's because you are allowing the enemy to partner with you. You're allowing, you're, you're allowing things. You're compromising. You are loving your life too much. You are pursuing things that are not God given to you. It's because of your own sin. That these, Catholic, these these things are in your life. So Father, I pray that you would give us boldness to separate ourselves from the things of the world. And whatever that applies, and, and the word of the Lord is saying to you, the word of the Lord today is, however that applies to you, there's a gradual growth in your life where you're coming out of that. And God is delivering you, taking you from glory to glory. That doesn't mean that you're going to have miracles after miracles. If you're only seeking God's miracles in your life, if you're only seeking the good things in your life that is not of god god is saying from glory to glory means from maturity to maturity from holiness to holiness 
So, Father, I pray that you would help us to declare a separation from the devil, that we will not compromise with the enemy's forces. We will not allow these things in our lives. The small drinking, oh, Pastor Song, I, I enjoy alcohol. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. You enjoy alcohol one sip, and then the next moment, you're going from glory to glory. I don't know, wine to wine, and you drink the whole bottle. That's how it is. I separate you from all those things in Jesus' name. Oh, Pastor Song, this is nothing. Oh, I can just, um, I can just, uh, I don't know, the, handle this addiction because I'm strong enough. No, I break that off addiction off of you. It's distracting you from the will of the Lord. Your your addiction is distracting you. Your addiction is distracting you from whatever that needs to be that needs to be done in your life. Oh, Pastor Song, I can chit chat with this person. It's it's not a it's it's an innocent friendship. No, it's not. You're you're uh, talking to this person out of lust. I break that off in Jesus' name. So, Father, from glory to glory, from holiness to holiness, I pray that you move us up in in the in the realm of the spirit right now in jesus mighty mighty name so god is saying gaslighting spirit is being it will be judged in the month of may but i feel like this how to fight the accuser is the blood of the lamb word of their testimony not seeking your own life on earth number two truth will come forth and many will be set free so number two the second verse is uh this word for may is that truth will come forth and many will be set free then you will know the truth and the truth will set free. So Father, I thank you that in the month of May, you're, you will set people free. Truth will come forth. Meaning another word that I have prophetic now, word God had given me about a week ago was exposure and sudden removal. God said exposure and sudden removal. Exposure and sudden removal. I'll, I might do a separate word on it because I've been marinating upon this word and I really feel like that's the word. And right after I got this word, keep saying exposure and sudden removal. Um, Tucker Carlson got removed from Fox. But I, I think it's it's both good and bad, meaning that there is an exposure that's coming and then sudden removal where people will be shocked. How did this person get removed from there? How did this person get removed? But I, I prophesy and declare this has to do with the governmental level of how some presidents and some people in high level will be exposed and suddenly removed. It's going to feel sudden, but it's the work of the Lord. So I pro prophesy that in Jesus' name. The Lord says exposure is coming and sudden removal is coming even from your life in Jesus' name because truth is coming forth. God is uh, exposing the truth is the, the, the battling force. Truth is a winning factor against the deception of the times. Listen to me. Truth is the winning factor of the deception of our times. There is so much deception and lie of the enemy crept into your household, crept into your church life, crept into pastors. So much deception in this world. We are in the beginning of the last days. We're already experiencing so much symptoms of the last days, which is that many, even the elect, will be deceived. There's spirit of deception that is so rampant. Father, I pray that you will protect us from the spirit of deception right now. I, I rewire your brain to gear towards truth in Jesus' name. I break the spirit of deception over you. I anoint you with spirit of truth right now. Oh, Oh, the devil is trying to deceive you. God, I pull you out of the things that are true, uh, truly of God. So, Father, I pray that you would... And how do we uh, how do we battle this deception? Truth coming forth is the factor to battle the deception. So, Father, I pray that the truth will come forth now in Jesus' name. Some of you are rela in relational context. We can't you can't quite discern whether this person is for you or against you. Exposure is coming, and sudden removal is coming. God is saying truth will be exposed about that person. So, Father, I pray that the truth will be exposed about people's motives, intentions, and all these things in Jesus' mighty mighty name. Amen. Number three, character over giftedness. So another verse that I had that I love, and I just feel like God is saying, where is hope? Where is hope? So many are feeling hopeless, even for yourself. And God is saying, um, Romans 5, 1 through 5, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen and amen. So we know that suffering produces perseverance. Many of you have been in suffering. It produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And God is saying, work on your character. He has been working on your character. And I don't know how this word ties into how truth sets you free because I think um, there's a, such a deception of the day about character building and about character. Um, people are deceived because of giftedness. Well, your gifting may be able to lure people into your ministry, but your character will grow them into disciples. Your gifting may bring people closer to your ministry, but 
but your the the character of who you are will build your ministry. A character of a, of an apostle is important. A character, God given character, and character is birth and um, cultivated through suffering. So whoever that suffered is a suffering servant. Don't despise them because through the suffering they built on their character. If they didn't work on their character through their suffering, by now because of the suffering that God had given them, they would have swayed away from the gospel. But they have not. If they're faithful in their positioning, it is a testimony that they have endured through suffering and that they have a character that is able to handle those things and God is saying there's it's a character over giftedness so father I pray that there'll be a massive shift in the body of Christ even as well as people who swarm left and right because of giftedness or giftings or they uh, want to manifest giftings through little tricks and want to get there quicker father I pray that you will brew people you will work on their character right now because character is what gives hope you know the world may fall apart but your character will keep, sustain you your character will uh, pers help you help you to persevere through the tough times and tough times are here and is coming so father I pray that even as we face persecution as a church even as we face a difficult times economically in many different nations I pray that God you will give us the wisdom to know how to work on our character how to be uh, in enduring and persevering how to endure and persevere and how to be consistent in our intercession in the season in Jesus mighty mighty name amen and amen so truth will set you free this month is a month when truth will set you free who I feel the power and the anointing of this word because I sense such a demonic trickery of the enemy try to deceive people and all also gaslight people when they're the ones that did something but they'll flip the table what well, God is saying to us another flipping is coming a Nestor anointing is coming Nestor anointing is to uh, reverse the false decrees in Jesus name there's been a decree that is against you but God is reversing every false decree every false contract every false covering every false every false thing he is canceling it he is reversing it so father I receive this word right now in Jesus name every gaslighting spirit every false accuser will be judged in the courtroom of heaven and the verdict will be released there'll be a tangible manifestation and also this word ties into last month's word month of April I was prophesying about how um, you're coming out of Egypt and I really felt like what it is is um, you know, uh, but the, the the rebellious people were trying to gaslight Moses, right? Because God heard Moses heard the voice of God. They felt like you know Moses tricked them, and they were attacking Moses. You know, they were they didn't want to go to the land of freedom. They thought that Egypt was better. Well, that is not true, right? It took long time for God to bring Egyptian uh, bring Israelites out of Egypt it took a long time to get Egypt out of those Israelites who you were so used to being slaves some of you right now are so uncomfortable because you're so used to how it was before God is about to take you into the promised land but you're so used to being in Egypt there's such a temptation and a tendency to go back and God is breaking that off of you in the month of May truth will set you free in Jesus name so I push forward people of God into their promised land right now in Jesus mighty mighty name let's get into the prophetic now word right now I hear the Lord saying there is greater shaking coming you must prepare you must prepare I hear the Lord saying there is greater shaking that might shock the world and you must prepare there's greater division and a divide coming in the body of Christ those who are for the Lord those who are not for the Lord those those who will have worked on their character, those who sold out their giftings like it with 30 pieces of silver that did business with their gifting, God's going to expose them. Another word I hear from the Lord, there's a shaking coming because the Lord is about to release judgment upon the Eli's household, meaning the Eli the priests who did not discipline their sons to do despicable things, dishonorable things before the altar of the Lord. God is saying, I'm releasing judgment upon these people who have defiled my altar, who have defiled my altar with selling, doing business with my giftings that I've given them, with doing business with the miracles that I've given them, that have been selling people in and out and that have been uh, not pastoring them, not shepherding them. So God is saying, I'm releasing judgment upon Eli's sons. And Father, is saying I am blessing those who have been going from holiness to holiness shop but I work on their character and worked on their perseverance and warriors I hear the Lord saying persevere persevere endure through the things that have come before you father I release an 
an endurance anointing right now to push through in this season. Some of you just need a last encouragement to push through. You've been in a long battle. I see some of you have been in a long battle for the past 10 years, 12 years, 20 years, and you're about to give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. You're getting there. You're getting there. Is There is hope because you did not give up. You did not give up that ministry. You did not give up that position in the heavenly realm. You did not give up praying. You did not give up your intercession. So, Father, give them the last push of encouragement right now. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And Father, I pray that you would deal with the sins of the, the, the man, sins of man where we gaslight people, we take partial responsibility and we blame other people. I pray for flipping of tables right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And I hear the Lord saying also, get ready for something big in June. Get ready for something to explode in June. Not a good thing, but God is saying, get ready to rescue people. Get ready to preach the gospel. Get ready to Shabbat save people literally in Jesus name father I pray that you would get us ready for the next season in Jesus mighty mighty name Shika. there's an economic fall that is coming there's an economic shaking that is coming and sudden removals are coming the world will be in shock by the by by June July August in the summertime I see a lot of activity but the world will be in shock of some of the things that are exposed and removed during the summer season up to August in Jesus mighty mighty name that's a prophetic now word I hear in the in the in the Lord right now I have a prophetic word for Singapore. God is highlighting Singapore in this month. The Lord is saying, Kara, Singapore, be alert and awake. I see prayer movements uh, among men in Singapore. So I bless the men of Singapore right now to, to be men of prayer and intercession. I set you on fire if you're watching me from Singapore. The men, God is saying, I'm going to set you on fire for the things that I have for you in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. So Father, I pray for men of Singapore, the, the Chinese descendants who must pray, have a calling to pray against these hurling dragons and the Kara spirits that are against the Lord. I, I see an end times army rising up out of Singapore right now and God anointing the men of the nation in Jesus name so I just bless you in Jesus mighty mighty name and you know we started Dallas outpouring I want to bless the city of Dallas God is saying I'm shaking the religious systems of Dallas and Texas I'm shaking the religious system spirit of religion will come down spirit of religion will have no place there'll be a, conf a season of confusion both in Austin Houston and Texas uh, and Dallas there are people I see a bit of confusion in the streets meaning like there's a lot of infiltration and the Lord is shaking things but God is saying I'm bringing fresh wind of revival fresh waters of revival so I bless you Dallas to experience a fresh wind of the Lord in Jesus mighty mighty name yes Lord another word father I pray that you release your throne room words right now fresh word and revelation and manna right now in Jesus mighty mighty name I see New York City I see battlegrounds in New York City I see the Lord also uh, shaking New York City and Wall Street the Lord says get ready for economic turnover and churning and I see a lot of repentance I feel like it's time for uh, Wall Street to be saved I feel that God has prepared some of them some of the preachers and pastors in, in Manhattan to really preach the gospel. So I, I see a season of harvest coming to New York City, uh, even up to September. Um, by, by September and the fall, there's going to be greater harvest in Manhattan in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. So, Father, I bless Manhattan and the harvest that's coming in the fall in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Do not be discouraged. Those who have been a target of gaslighting and, and in relational context where... Um, it's just been impossible for you to even communicate because people just flip things on you. I break that off in Jesus mighty mighty name. I break that off in Jesus mighty mighty name. The Lord is saying overturning is coming. Overturning is coming. He's raising your right hand to give you victory in this hour in Jesus mighty mighty name. She got a, oh, another thing that's been consistent. Now, this is another now word. Um, I'm just speaking this because it, you know, when God, God gives like repetitive themes. It means that God wants me to release it at some point. So, you know, the word that was repetitive was exposure and loving removal. Another word that's repetitive that's been in, in dreams and in my life that I feel like I need to highlight was uninvited guests and infiltration. That was another word I had. Um, be aware, I had a dream about a month ago about an uninvited guest that came into a meeting and um, they just barged in and, you know, but, uh, I think what God is warning us about is the um, the lack of uh, boundaries in ministries, lack of boundaries in 
uh, in ministry in church where we're so naive, we welcome everybody. And it's about witches and war warlocks that are planted inside the church. These people that are uninvited, they feel like they have the right to come in and barge in and tell you what to do. And it's about boundaries. But really the repetitive theme that I just feel like God is saying, warn people about uninvited guests and I uh, and you know and just be careful to not go places where you're not invited and then people who will creep in who will infiltrate it's really about infiltration of um, people who have an agenda uh, Satanists that want to come and spy monitoring spirits so right now in the name of Jesus I bind every uninvited um, infiltration I bind it out of our lives in Jesus name I pray that you will discern if you're a pastor and a minister I pray that you would discern um, you know we live uh, we're very naive we think oh you can just register and anybody can come everyone's welcome yes and no everyone's welcome but not from the devil there are people that the, the enemy intentionally sends in devil sent or God sent you need to discern so father I pray that you protect our ministry those who have ministries even small ministries, big ministries, I pray that you will pray for boundary protection in this next season. The Lord is warning the church about uninvited guests, people who just um, are sent by the enemy. I pray that that will also be exposed in this hour, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Another word that was a warning word repetitively had to do with jealous spirits. So, Father, you, you know what that is, the Cain spirit. We bind it. We say, God, you will overflow in us the love of God. Yeah, love of God just overflow in us. Love of God heals. Love of God delivers. Fill us with the love of Christ in Jesus' name. Um, that jealous spirit jealousy is a little is a little too much. It's a lot of content there, so I'm just not gonna speak any further because it's been a pretty long broadcast. After I um, close this, I'm gonna do some personal ministry. So if you wanna hang around, there's some people who ask me for prayer. I'm gonna do another session right here, just on Lighthouse Movement page to release some personal prophecies to you. So Father, I pray for a mighty, just a washing um, of of your people right now and this word wherever this is replayed on youtube in different contexts i pray that you would encourage your warriors to rise up in jesus name amen and amen god bless you bye